My guys, it's good like. And this is Facebook. It's my Facebook. As you can tell by the fact that it has my name on it. Somewhere on the screen. Or something. So, I open up Facebook today. And what do I see? Apparently Facebook would like to hear from me. It's, it's nice to see that finally a voice of reason has been recognized in this world. For I have been writing a lot on my Facebook. You can see uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, some pictures, some other things. Uh, let's see. I've written some essays. There, there's an essay. A pretty short one. Let's see if we can find something bigger. There we go. It's a fairly large Facebook post. Huh? Was uh, the best first base mission ever. Anyway. To the point, right? They want me to take a survey, and it says it'll take three to four minutes. Who would I be if I wouldn't take the survey and answer the questions about Facebook that I use oh so very often? As as, as you can see by the fact that the last message was sent about a month ago. So you know I am. I'd say I use Facebook much more often than the average person, so I'm sure that my opinion will be very of great value to them. Right, so the first question, or the only question, I, I don't really know. They don't really say. I mean, it says continue, but it could mean anything. It could mean that the test is over, or it could mean that there is more. Is there more? Is there not more? Let's find out by answering the question, which is Overall, how satisfied are you with your Facebook experience? You know, I never really thought about Facebook as an experience. Facebook is just some sort of website that happens to exist on the internet and I happen to open it every now and then and I happen to scroll down every now and then and then you know I happen to scroll back up because I notice that the friggin things aren't sorted by date for some bloody reason I mean why would you why would you even ever change that option I keep setting it to sort by date but it changes back to sort by some other algorithm that I have no knowledge whatsoever. Every single time. I, I don't understand. This is like almost as bad as YouTube. At the very least, you know, you can put it back to sort by time. I mean, if this was YouTube, <laughs> you wouldn't even have the fucking option. So I guess I can't really complain. So I guess I'm fairly satisfied. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it has buttons that do things when the site completely fucks you over. So, you know, it's fairly nice. Alright, if you could choose one part of Facebook to improve, what would it be? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why, why is it that there's only one option? The... Do, do these people that are behind Facebook have no time to improve, like, everything? Why, why is it one part? What if I have, like, two parts that I have problem with and I would want to improve two of them at the same time? Let's, let's take a look at what are their options. Uh, messages chat. Hmm. Well, their messages are actually... Alright, I haven't had any problem sending messages to any anybody ever, although I send messages like once in a year, so... I personally, sending that single message once in a year, I haven't had any troubles whatsoever, so... That's definitely not something that should be improved. 
News feed. They have a news feed? You know, that's something that should be improved because I never really realized that Facebook is supposed to dispense news. I mean, I've never seen it. Show me any news whatsoever. All I've seen is some random stupid post that some random people happen to make, so I don't know. Uh, that's definitely in need of improvement. Apps that integrate with Facebook. I remember integrating some apps, but honestly, isn't the apps that would be the problem and not the Facebook? How would you fix apps that aren't even part of a Facebook if you're Facebook? I mean, if we're really gonna go to super technical, they could provide better, more flexible APIs or something, or not, but seriously, most of the problems that I would possibly have with apps that integrate with Facebook would be with the apps that integrate with Facebook and not with Facebook itself. Because apps would be the problem, so what use would it be? If I click this options, do you do you start like sending annoyed letters to random people who make apps to Facebook? Do, do, you, do you just send them, hey, fix your shit? I mean, if they do that, that, that would be amazing. Adverts. Well, I must admit, I have noticed that there are adverts in this site, but I've not really actually paid attention to them. The one time I took a look at the advert on the Facebook, it was something along the lines, go buy some oil shares or something. And obviously, me being as <clears throat> financially uh, strong as a average Arabian prince, this was very relevant advertisement for myself. I took a look at it and, uh, well, in the end decided that I'm not going to invest into random oils because that would be fucking stupid. But, you know, all the other times it's almost as if the ads aren't there. And unlike the news feed, I, I don't think they should actually add adverts. Profile Timeline well, I showed you the profile timeline and, well, while it is a little bit messy, I haven't had a particular issue with it. I mean, yeah, it tends to obscure too many things here and there, but you can press a button and then they appear. And it's not like I go to watch what I did every single fucking day or anything anyway, so it's, it's not a problem. It's, it's, it's definitely not a problem. There is no problem with the timeline. I am not interested in it being fixed, all right? Privacy controls. Privacy controls. <laughs> Privacy controls. <laughs> uh, uh, photos. Photos. I think there is a photo of me on the internet somewhere. It exists, but I'm not even sure I could find it myself if I were to look for it. I probably could, because I more or less know where it is. But uh, yeah, I don't. I don't actually have photos on Facebook. Who would put photos on Facebook? I mean, yeah, sure. The name says Facebook, so you would think there would be like photos of your face in it but you know I, I prefer the m more direct meaning of Facebook which is face book meaning you, you you plant your face into a book just like a face palm you know but with a book I mean when you put it that way it's it sounds really old school you know who really has books these days to Facebook into but, yeah, so, I don't know, I'm, I'm not ever going to put photos into Facebook, at best I'll put in screenshots, but since photos are not screenshots, I'm, I, I'm not at liberty to choose this option. Search, search, so, what would you search on Facebook? When was the last time you searched for anything on Facebook? 
Let's search for something on Facebook just for that knife. Let's say sheep. Sheep. About sheep. Sheep are quadrupedal ruminant mammals typically kept as livestock. Like all ruminants, sheep are members of the order Artiodactyla, the even toed ungulate, ungulates, I guess. <clears throat> Although the name sheep applies to many species in the genus Ovis, in everyday usage it almost always refers to Ovis Aries. Ari Aries, Aries. Numbering a little over 1 billion. Wow, that is a lot of sheep. Photos of my friends and sheep. Okay. Where, where the she Oh. Oh. That still doesn't explain. Why, where are the sheep? There are no sheep in here. About sheep. Sweet grass. Oh, it's a film about sheep. There is a film about sheep? Okay, well, we clearly have established that the search function works perfectly fine. Okay, so, in reality, I have simply realized the reason why you can only choose only one option. That is because it's not actually asking for your opinion. It's a quiz question. You are supposed to take a look at the Facebook and find out which one is missing in Facebook, which is obviously the news feed because it doesn't exist, which we're, we're gonna write. Doesn't exist. One may ask why would they ask for such quizzes, but I believe that we have not established enough yet to fully grasp the intricacies of this questionnaire extravaganza. So let, let us continue to figure this out. How important is Facebook in staying connected to people? Let's say close friends and family. Completely unimportant. <laughs> I don't have any of my close friends or family on my Facebook whatsoever. Why would I have such a thing on my Facebook? Who would have their friends and family on the website that you use to plant your face in a book for? That's just absolutely, completely and utterly, in no way, shape or form, connected. Now acquaintances, yes, that's very important. Acquaintances, yes. In fact, that th these are my acquaintances. They are acquaintances because we are both on Facebook. That is what the definition of acquaintance is. And if it is not, then a future revision of our language will necessarily include such a definition. Celebrities and other public figures. You know, I did use this Facebook thing to connect with one very important celebrity and public figure by the name Pemtaflon. He was the emperor of the Pempire. Unfortunately, for some reason, his Facebook just disappeared into non-existent. It was taken over by this imposter by the name Perry. I have no idea who this person is. To me, it is obvious that the Pemperor would never allow such a thing if he actually cared at all for this stupid website. So, we can safely say that celebrities and other public fig figures completely do not care for this piece of crap. So, it's the worst way to connect with them, I would say. Naturally. How do you feel about the number of friends you have on Facebook? How many friends do I have on Facebook? Let's see. Sheep. Well, there's one billion sheep. But besides the sheep, I have 19 friends. How does 19 make me feel? It's one and a nine. It's 19, which is more than 18 and less than 20.
No, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling anything. That's completely... A number. Completely relevant. Now, if it was 13, that would be a number I have feelings about. I can tell you, because that is a number that has always been in my fucking life. I was the 13th on my class register. Multiple times, in fact. My father used to work as a bus driver that had a number 13 on the bus. It was, it was a bus of 13, so to speak. What else? Uh, oh yeah, when I was 13, it was the first time a random girl came up to me and asked me if I masturbate or not. I didn't know what masturbation meant when I was 13, so I just shrugged. What else? Um, I guess that's about it, really. Eventually, I just grew to accept 13 into my life as a number, and now it proudly resides at the end of my nickname, which is the good like 13, which you should know because this is a YouTube video on a channel that is the good like 13, so yeah, it's pretty obvious. So. I, I guess I would want to have moderately fewer friends, so this number would make me feel better. You know, this question is fairly vicious when you think about it. It makes you want to have less friends if your number of friends happens to be too big. But then again, maybe this is the Facebook's way of writing itself, of making you actually appreciate the friends you have and take away those that are just there because they want to spam you with fucking, I don't know, random links in the Arabic language. Crazy fucking people. How much do you feel in control of your personal information on Facebook? That, that is a good question, but uh, I don't understand the question quite so well. Well, technically I could just go into my personal information and change it, right? That's that's a thing that I could possibly do, right? 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 Yeah. I just checked and yeah, I, I can change my personal information right now if I want to. I, I could be engaged or married to a random person in the world. I could be a Buddhist if I wanted to. I could be anything, so I feel completely in control of my personal information, so thank you very much. How reliably does Facebook work the way it's supposed to? An example without errors, bugs, or delays. You know, this question is very vague. Why don't you just go ahead and ask how often does Facebook work? Like, you know, zero times, one time, twice. You could add a period of time, but this is just what? So let's say I say that you work somewhat reliably. What does that really say about you? Does, does that mean that there's an error here or there? Or does it mean that there's an error every day, but there's only one error? Or, or there's one bug? The other day, maybe there's a delay? I can't reliably answer this question, you know. Uh, oh. If for, for some reason it throws you the question here, if you mouse over the option, just in case you can't read the question up there, it's there as well, you know, just, just in case. I mean, this shows how confident they are in their website working. They don't believe that this is enough. It's just in case, they just throw it at every single possibility. So that just in case this does not work, something else does. You know, while I, d I believe this is very, very responsible and reliable, so that will be my answer. You are a very reliable and responsible website, Facebook. You throw the same goddamn line at me everywhere. So even if one of them breaks, I'm sure the others will work just fine. How easy or difficult is Facebook to use? Difficulty. Truly a uh, philosophical question, is it not? What really is easy and what really is difficult? If I find something difficult, 
but I accomplish it. Is it no longer difficult? Has it become easy because I have accomplished it now? Or is it something easy, difficult nevertheless? Simply because as it may be only easy to me? What, what a philosophical question. But I feel I cannot provide an accurate answer to this question, unfortunately. I can only provide a, a pathetic attempt of analysis, which we shall now undertake. So, let's see at this website. <laughs> oh, you know what I've realized? You know why those ads aren't there anymore? That's probably because the ad block is saved by them. Let's enable the ads. Behold! Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> it seems that the ads have stacked up for me. I have not been looking at them for such a long time, so now there's so many of them. It's filling up the entire right side of my screen. Now it's been a long time. It's a funny story with Adblock. I wasn't actually using it, but then... I happened. I just happened. Onto a website, and onto a show and said website, which had an ad before every single video. The videos were about five, four minutes long. And the ad was always exactly the same fucking ad. And if you did not watch the ad, like you just, you know, tried to open another tab or just, you know, do something else that usually works, it would play the ad again! Let's say you watched, it, it was a 30 second ad, and if you watched 28 seconds, you clicked something accidentally, well now you're gonna have to watch the ad again for 30 seconds. But you know what's the best thing about it? That ad was about fruits. That ad literally was some random color background and just a random fruit either rolling or falling or whatever and somebody promoting y yogurt or something or whatever without any sound. For 30 seconds, it's just a screen where just the company name flash up some stuff some random fruits go across the screen or whatever and, and that repeats for 30 seconds. And I couldn't even skip it or get it to go away, so... That crossed the line. That, that crossed the line. I still ended up watching like 20 of those before I, I said that this isn't reasonable. But then, you know, yeah, just said, no, no, this, this, this is not... This is not how it is supposed to be. If, if you provide actual ads that are actual ads that, that are actual ads, I might watch them. In fact, I, I make a conscious note every time I visit the website, I turn off ad blocker. Just to see if, you know, maybe their ads aren't all that bad. But that was, that, that website, I know that, I was broken. I was... Uh, I mean, I haven't used Adblock for years on the internet and that, that, that just crossed the line. Speaking of ads, YouTube has done something incredibly stupid. I know this is off topic, but I have to tell you this in case you didn't notice. Which you probably did because this is YouTube. But now, friend videos can be played as ads instead of the normal ads. I'm pretty sure you still have to like make an ad for a video, which was a feature in YouTube at some point. And, and then, you know, you make an ad for a video, which is the entire video. So, the last thing I saw was about three minutes Asian man talking about constipation for old people. I didn't know it was about constipation until I went to his YouTube channel. So, curiosity killed the cat, I guess, in this case. <clears throat> this another time I saw some poorly photoshopped excuse of a Putin singing some silly song. It's Putin because I live in Lithuania and that's close to Russia, therefore there's people in Lithuania that do stupid shit about Putin. And therefore, you know, as a Lithuanian, I see Lithuanian ads 
I, I want to kill myself. Uh, let's 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 move on. This we, we're supposed to find out if it's easy to use this website. So let's take a look. What's this on my front page? The Lord of the Rings. Where did the elves journey to when they no longer wish to live in Middle Earth? Imladris, the Forgotten Shore, or the Undying Lands? Well, probably Imladris. I just guess by the fact that they're elves and <laughs> elves rather fucking cut out their own tongues than make up a name that is simple and easy to pronounce or makes any reasonable sense, so... I mean, well, <laughs> can you even imagine an elf saying, I'm going to the Forgotten Shore? That's not an elf. That is not an elf. That is not an elf. No, 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 no. Well, while this snippet of Middle Earth's Lexicology is fairly interesting. I have no idea why this is on the front screen and kind of takes pretty much half of what is actually usable in Facebook, which is not much in the first place, but yeah. This is not what should be. Instead, we should see this impost. Oh my god, the ads reloaded. This imposter's message. You can see that he's an imposter. He is hinting at it. You see, Gemini horoscope. Gemini as in two similar things. He is he's, he's, such an evil mind. Ugh. Moving on. Then there's some random stuff. And you can scroll down. And then you can see these simply mouth-watering cakes. Uh... But yeah, I wouldn't call this very easy to use, honestly, because, I mean, you have to scroll down a lot. And what if your scroll wheel is broken? It broke to me once, it can happen to anybody, so then you have to use this to scroll, which is just annoying as fuck, as I have learned when my scroll wheel was broken. Do not do this. Do, do, do not break your scroll wheels. Be very gentle with them. They are very fickle and most likely the weakest part of your mouse. But at the same time, one of the most important. If you break your scroll wheel, you will feel as if you have broken a part of your body. You just won't feel the same anymore. It just won't feel the same. Now, I want to access my friends from here. Do you know what I have to do? I have to go... Welcome? No, I have to click on fucking my f face, get this old business, and then go to my friends. And then you have a list of random people that may or may not be my friends. <sighs> this, this is not easy to use. I refuse to give them that. This is not, not easy to use. It's, it's not easy. It's, in fact, very, very annoying. Well, at least you can comment easily to stuff. Unless it's like this, where for some reason the comments are hidden here and you have to press this button and then you have to go somewhere into another website and then you have to read through three billion things. Look at these people. Look at these people. Look at these people. See. Have you not ever seen Frickin' elves. Uh, such foolishness. Anyway, it's it's extremely difficult to use Facebook. How useful is Facebook overall? I believe that this question can be easily answered when you ask yourself, what do you use Facebook for? And I use Facebook to pretty much strictly just open it and waste time. And every single time when I come to Facebook, almost every single time, I spend here like half a minute because that's the amount of time it can keep my attention with 
the messages most of the time besides the cakes cakes usually keep my attention for a little bit longer but that's about it I certainly cannot say that Facebook has been very useful in wasting my time so I have to say that it's not at all useful and if you want a website that really wastes your time you should try reddit not only is this just looks terrible at the first sight it's completely unintuitive in how it works and you have to try to figure it out it also has a bunch of stupid shit in it and usually a bunch of more stupid people commenting on the stupid shit and it's also in billions of categories that you can choose from but, you know that's out of scope of this video we're not gonna talk about reddit we're gonna stick to Facebook how much fun how much fun is Facebook? It's just amazing when you want to shut your brain down for 30 seconds. But in any other situation, I would say that it is utterly and completely useless. Right. How trustworthy is Facebook? Well, you see, I don't know. After all, I have not been in contracts with Facebook, and user license agreement notwithstanding, I have not been in contracts with Facebook, and Facebook has not made any promises. So how would I know if it's trustworthy or not? I guess we will never really know, but I don't trust it. It's a website named after something that could cause you head trauma, after all. So, I don't see why you should trust something like that. Please share any additional feedback you have about your experience using Facebook. Please share any feedback you have about the survey. Well, one thing that I can tell you about the survey, that it was bullshit. This survey took me almost 40 minutes to complete I am disappointed it said 3 to 4 what it actually meant was 34 you have to always read in between the lines all right I think we are done here hooray this survey is submitted I hope that they really will learn from what I have said in the answers that I have provided in the end though I still have no idea why they were collecting this information I thought that at the end some sort of revelation would occur there was a trick maybe a prize for getting through the survey but no nothing alas we, sh we shall never know the answer unless they tell us at some unspecified point in the future I guess anyway this is how you do Facebook surveys thank you for watching see you later